Hey guys, today I bring you a video about how I am bougie on a budget. Those that know me know that I love designer brands, designer clothes, designer furniture. If it's expensive, I probably like it. Not because it's expensive, because I have worked in fashion previously and I see how things are made. Um, I try my best not to invest in fast fashion, although I'm definitely guilty of it. But I do like to buy good key pieces, but I don't always have the dosh for what I want. So I have learned some skills and some tricks in how to get a designer wardrobe on a budget. Um, not only clothes and shoes, makeup, and I have a secret weapon. So I will tell you what that secret weapon is. Drum roll. TK Maxx, but you knew this already because it was in the title. I am a huge fan of TK Maxx or TJ Maxx if you're stateside or in Canada. I think there's TK Maxx in Canada. I haven't shopped there, but I love TK Maxx. I can spend hours and hours on end shopping those rails. I feel like TK Maxx is either Marmite. I feel like you either love it or you hate it. It definitely takes time um, you can't go into a TK Maxx like looking for something in particular because you don't know what's gonna be in there it is like a jumble sale <laughs> but it's a bougie jumble sale I wanted to put a video together of all my best buys that I have bought from TK Maxx in the past year I want to say I haven't had any of these items longer than a year I'm gonna start off with um, some makeup items. I'm gonna go makeup and then a few miscellaneous items. Um, so this is all from one brand, Kevin O'Quan. It is my new favorite. I am starting to become obsessed with Kevin O'Quan. Um, if you're not familiar with Kevin O'Quan, check it out. It's just really great quality um, designer. I feel like my first purchase of Kevin O'Quan, I, I feel like it was this. It's a foundation, it is the Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation by Kevin O'Quan. Way too dark for me, but great if I'm super, super tanned. So I bought this knowing this is not gonna be my everyday foundation, but I believe it was something like seven pounds and I'm not 100% sure how much this costs, but I want to say expensive. <laughs> so with it being like seven pounds, I was just like, well, I can use it um and it comes this really cool dropper you can drop it in your foundation so if i need to warm up a light foundation for me this has come in handy um so when i wear my bondi sands ultra dark i drop a little bit of this in my foundation next up from kevin O'Kran. how cute is this it comes in a pouch the pouch is really dirty so i'll get rid of that tiny little eyeshadow mini I haven't used it. I feel like it's a little bit too dark for me. I'm not very experimental when it comes to eyeshadows. So, um, oh, blind you with the light. Um, now I know why beauty YouTubers cover the mirror. <laughs> so it's a really dark matte brown. Um, I love the packaging of Kevin O'Quan. Oh, I've got it all over me now. It is color 106 in coffee bean. Um, I definitely need to experiment more with colour and I bought this so that I could start darkening up my eyeshadow so I haven't used it yet but I will do. Um, next thing I have is Kevin O'Quan Liquid Contour Wand. That. So it is a contour wand as you can see. I've used it a little bit. Jury's out on this one. Um, for me I really have to blend it out. Um, but like I say, I'm not 100% all the prices on these, but guaranteed everything was under £20 for sure. I feel like this must have been, un I feel like this was probably like £9 or something from TK Maxx. Ah, the lip colour that I am wearing right now is this. So this is Timeless. It's a vibrant orange. It's a matte lip colour. It's the matte lip colour in Timeless. So Kevin O'Quan serving it up it's not an everyday color for me but i really like it it looks a bit vintagey for me i'll get up a little bit closer it's 
so it is a matte reddish orange color i feel like they'd be wearing it in the 50s back in the day I'm feeling a bit of a retro vibe so i have been loving that i also have the sensual skin enhancer which is in a shade that is really really light too light for me um but it's good for when I'm extra, extra pale or I just want to lighten it around my eyes to make my eyeshadow pop. Just to forewarn you, this you, you do need to set with a powder. For me personally, I need to set with a powder. Um, but I know some people that have been using this for years and they swear by it and you get so much in the pot. I feel like this was probably like £10. And the people that I know that buy it, they spend it spend a lot of money on this and buying it from space nk so keep your eyes peeled out for that bad boy and my last kevin o'quan item is something that i am obsessed with it is my new kevin o'quan um angled foundation brush i've just washed it so it is a bit wet at the moment but yeah it's a bit spiky because it's been washed but the packaging it is sturdy and this makes my foundation go on like the dream i feel like i hardly have to buff it in anymore like this does all of the work i've used other foundation brushes to put my foundation on but this i feel like i just go and it's done i am obsessed with this brush i've had it for a little while and i hadn't used it i don't know why it has changed my life and again this would have been definitely under 20 pounds i feel like this was probably about 15 pounds maybe a uh, push 18 pounds i would have spent on that so and i know that their brushes are not cheap just like everything else from kevin o'quan it is not cheap stuff guys okay, moving on to nars i'm not a makeup vlogger just to let you know but i do buy a lot of makeup i'm not the best at it but i'm you know i'm you know trying these have been loved look at the state of that this one's not so bad actually can you tell what this is gonna be it is laguna bronzer guys i found a laguna bronzer in a tk max um there you go it's a mess my makeup bag is a mess i do apologize love it again this would have definitely been under 20 pounds for sure i want to say i probably spent around about 12 pounds on this um like i said i don't have any of the stickers left because i just peel them off and then my other nars item is a quad i'm definitely someone that likes more neutral for my day to day i'm trying to get a little bit more experimental but i thought that this was a perfect one to keep in my um handbag because it has, you know, like a light base. This is probably the one I use the most. Yeah, that's the one I use the most. A nice shimmery from the inner corner for me and a, a dark matte, which I use very, very sparingly because they're very pigmented. Love. Moving on to Charlotte Tilbury. Only recently have I noticed Charlotte Tilbury being in TK Maxx's and I have two lip glosses. I do actually have a third, which I lent to a friend, which I need to get back at some point. I have Video Vixen and Dirty Dancer. So this one is, this one's Video Vixen. Um, beautiful, beautiful, deep red, mm, lovely. And then um, Dirty Dancer is more of a kind of nudie, I would say a nudie red because it is quite dark still so love those and the other one that you have was a more um nudie version of this like a lighter nude which is probably my favorite one so i do need to get that back i will message her after this is i feel like 90 percent of my brushes come from um tk max so we have a set here this is a Oh, skinny dip set this was i believe four pounds and this was in the sale section i'm always in the clearance section that's the first section i go to in tk maxx is the clearance section and these are in there for four pounds and yeah nice a couple of fluffy ones a good angle for four pounds like yes sign me up more brushes this was i thought was really cool this is magnetic so these are the brushes. I have used them actually, in fact, one of them's a little bit dirty, but I thought these were cute for travel. 
because they're so small. Look, tiny. And I love the colours. I like pretty brushes. Look at the blue. And they're magnetic, apparently. I haven't tried this, but apparently they stand up. <gasps> so when you're travelling and on the go, and you're like on a really bumpy train, ooh, <laughs> that is so cool, right? My love for them just deepened. Okay, in the next item... I couldn't believe it when I saw this because I'd never seen this brand in TK Maxx before. But I saw this random pouch and then I saw the sign. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now I use their dip brow pomade religiously. I love it. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, yes. I said, like, does it have the, um, the pomade in it? Unfortunately, it doesn't. But it does have. And it just so happened to be my colour as well. Dark brown. So in there you've got the powder duo comes a little mirror in there the brow gel and some eyebrow stencils i haven't used these i kind of just do my own brows my own way but the thing that i wanted the most out of this was the brush oh gosh i'm dropping it the famous anastasia beverly hills brow brush this has had a lot of love i do have another one of these but it was coming to the end of its life because i use it so much so i was glad to have this and i feel like this is a small one i feel like this is a travel one came in a cute little pouch and i feel like this is definitely under 20 pounds as well because i have a kind of like a rule i don't spend more than 20 pounds on makeup other than my armani luminous silk foundation that i swear by um but even so i try and find that as cheap as i can john lewis currently having on offer but they don't have it in my shade ain't it Two more skin items, two more skin items, and then I have a palette and then that's done for makeup. But predominantly I buy most of my makeup from TK Maxx. I don't tend to buy skincare or hair care from TK Maxx because I have like particular items that I like to buy, but makeup definitely. I go straight to the makeup section. My current foundation that I'm wearing right now, it is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation in the colour Dune. Now when I bought this again, this was too dark for me, but when I'm tanned, it is literally the most perfect. I'm gonna show you. I feel like I don't look orange. Like it it blends in nicely. Um and it's not one that I have to like come on please work please work. It literally was like whoosh, done. Love 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 this and it does what it says on the tin ultra long wear it is long wearing um and this again would definitely have been under 20 pounds i want to say that this was probably 14 pounds and then i bought actually this is probably the one item that sneaked in that i've had longer than a year it is the amazing cosmetics um amazing concealer in medium beige i've got a light light beige as well i'm wearing this also needs a powder to set it as well but um, I've been watching YouTube for years and years and I remember a lot of American YouTubers were talking about this product. I was astounded to see it in a TK Maxx over here because I'd never seen it stocked here in the UK. Um, but I have had this for quite a while. Um, but it really does last and I'm so glad that I found it in a TK Maxx because I was wanting to try it. But I didn't want to order from the States because, you know, got to pay tax and stuff. So, Oh, no, I do have one, one more item other than the palette. Um, this bad boy, I wear it every day. It's lasted me ages and ages. It is an Illamasqua cream blush in, I don't even know the colour because it's worn off because I've used it so much. I've actually cleaned this because it was a mess. Um, but that is the colour. It looks super pink. I just dip a fluffy um, blusher brush in there. Take the excess off, excess off on my wrist and then um, lightly do it. I have it on today, you can't really tell so much, but there is a hint of pink in there. And the main event, the one that I do have the price for, is a palette and is by Too Faced. Now, I saw this in quite a few TK Maxx's. Look how many eyeshadows you get in here, guys. So it's the Natural Lust Too Faced palette. Can we just? Can we just? What? Take a guess. Take a guess how much I paid for this bad boy. It was at retail, 52 pounds. 
this bad boy retails at 52 pounds the original sticker so when it first came to tk maxx it was reduced to 34 pounds 99 which is an absolute steal for a 52 pound palette then it went down again 127 pounds again so that is like trying to figure out my maths i need to have that like meme just over half price god that took me a long time to figure that out that is bad guess how much i got this bad boy for 18 pounds 18 pounds 18 pounds for a 52 pound palette with all those colors a mirror as well steel that is the makeup stuff done the next thing which you have seen quite a lot of is the crown jewels you can still see the stickers i tried taking them off but i feel like i was so proud of um the price that i paid for it that i kind of kept them on i tried taking it off yesterday and then i figured oh no i want to film this video i'll keep this on but um this is an art piece it's actually registered you guys registered here is the little snag tag it is a william stafford fine art handcrafted in the united kingdom so i actually looked up william stafford and it is legit like art that's relatively like you know pricey designer ish this art piece originally it says the rrp was 400 and 69 pounds so this piece was almost 500 pounds then it was reduced oh gosh i can't see what it was reduced i think it was reduced to 90 pounds which is again an absolute steal 90 pounds for like a 460 pound uh, 470 pound painting and then it was reduced to 73 pounds i purchased it for 49 pounds that's what the yellow sticker says there 49 pounds on clearance so under 50 quid for a 470 pound piece of art so hence why it's always in the background i'm very proud of it i do actually need to mount it on a wall at some point because it is just balanced on my bed just here and i know some people have been nervous about it falling on me when i sleep but um a lot of the time well a i don't really move about much in my sleep and b if i really am scared of it falling on top of me i take it off the bed I am so proud of this TK Maxx purchase. Who would have thought, hey? Loved it, I, literally it was love at first sight because I was quite broke at the time and I was like, can I really justify spending 50 pounds on a picture of a crown? And I was like, you love it, get it. You need some art in your life. <laughs> on to fashion. I'm actually wearing the two items at the moment. I mean, you can't see. Um, but they are a pair of jeans that I have been wanting for a few years now. Um, and I couldn't believe my luck when I saw them in a TK Maxx. I feel like I've done a TK Maxx tour of the whole of the UK. Um, but I couldn't believe my luck when I saw them in there. I know that TK Maxx does hold a lot of Stella McCartney. I love Stella McCartney. I have an amazing blue silk um, long maxi dress from Stella McCartney from a TK Maxx, which is upstairs. I'm not gonna get that out of the loft to come down. But um, I love that piece. I think I spent a hundred pounds on that. The jeans that I am wearing are, they're the exact jeans I wanted. They are the black jeans. They are the flared jeans. Um, for those that know Stella McCartney's work, um, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. They went all the rage at one point. And so when I saw them in there, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to try these on took them to the changing room. They did not fit me at all. I could just about get them over my knees. But um, over the past few months, I have dropped a little bit of weight. And randomly one day, I was just like, oh, I don't know what to wear. And I kind of went into my wardrobe, pulled these bad boys out, because I know knew that I'd lost a little bit of weight. I thought, oh, maybe, maybe I'll try these on. And they went on. And I was like, oh. Obviously, I bought them knowing that I didn't fit in them but the reason why i bought them the reason why i bought them knowing that i didn't fit in them is because of the price and i knew that i would fit in them eventually one day because i did have goals to lose a little bit of weight i'm going to put some cutaways in of the jeans now so you can see what they look like on these are the black stella mccartney flared jean that i've been obsessing about and as you can see they're a tad tight for me cute detail on the booty included
they were 28 pounds i don't know the rrp the rrp of these but i will figure it out and i'll put it in the um the box below 28 pounds for a pair of stella mccartney jeans are you serious i had to buy them even though i didn't fit in them and that's like a few pieces that i've done that with from tk maxx and now i fit in them all so it's amazing so yeah and then the other item that i'm wearing is a pair of shoes and they're boots now i wasn't too familiar with the designer at first but i always do this if i'm in tk maxx and i find something i really really like and i don't know the designer i will google the designer and find out kind of what work they've done you know what's their style does it speak to mine um and i saw these boots and i were like wow they are a bit of me they are leather I don't, I am, I am in such a torn position when it comes to leather. Let's not, I think that's a video for another day, but I am, I am torn when it comes to leather items. But I saw these and I fell in love with them. So they are leather here. You can see this is kind of like a, and then they are suede, real suede um, here. And then we've got a beautiful uh, metal star detailing got given me western vibes but sexy western vibes i thought these were a power boot loved them when i saw them and they were the only pair there they were the only pair there and they were in my size so i'm a european 38 and they are by alexander white i researched him i fell in love with his stuff his work um british designer based in the east end of london big up and i just thought it was a little bit of east meets western i love american culture in general people always say that i'm probably one of the most american british people they know so i thought it had the american vibes but a british designer in the east end of london which i was so proud about and i was like i had to buy them um and even more why i had to buy them was they were 30 pounds 30 pounds three zero for a designer leather suede stunning the only reason why they were so cheap i'm going to show you why which is annoying i tried to get even more money off but this wasn't going to happen the zip is missing off of one of them which is heartbreaking but um i have promised these bad boys that i will fix them i will get them a new baby zip on there and i will be strutting around in these so those are oh they're just divine i can't wait to wear them i don't know if alexander white is still making shoes because i hadn't seen anything recent which is really sad but the quality is phenomenal i love that it says alexander white london you can't see but alexander white london in there it makes me so proud to be british um so yeah and that is my final tk maxx purchase so if you're not a tk maxx shopper i would recommend going in there when you have some time on your hands don't go in there when you're in a rush you really need like a good amount of time to go through the rails and patience patience is key when it comes to a tk maxx but yeah you need to go in there you need to have time and if you're not a tk maxx shopper get on it guys because if you like designer outfits or designer clothes and you you're a little bit bougie it's fine i'm a little bit bougie it's definitely the place to go i'm not of a position financially to you know go out and make these huge splurges like buy things at full price i'm definitely more of a bargain hunter so for me tk maxx is the place to be but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video um i hope i've inspired you to go to your local tk maxx when this pandemic is over the staff in there are super friendly i've been to tons and they're always really really helpful this video is definitely not sponsored by them absolutely not this is like my second ever video so um this is just spoken out of pure love for them and yeah i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one soon